NASA has created a Terminator material. It heals itself and seals up a bullet hole in two seconds. Now this type of material, it comes from a team of researchers in collaboration with the University of Michigan. The material consists of two layers of polymer with an embedded chemical. It turns into a solid when it's mixed with oxygen. Within seconds of coming into contact with it, we have a video clip of this. Take a look. It shows a non-reactive liquid leaking out of a small break in the polymer sheets. But when the liquid contains a key ingredient that reacts with oxygen, it seals the hole in less than a second. So Jose, this is really cool and interesting stuff that they're working on. Um, this material, it's, it's a Terminator style material because of how, I guess, closely, sure. exactly. There you go, you've actually seen the movie. Um, they're working on this. What are they preparing us for is, is my question. They're saying that they're going to use this on the ISS um, and other various avenues of, of NASA's field work. But, you know, I don't know if they're telling I mean, us the truth. <clears throat> Obviously, it has uh, applications, military applications that mm -hmm. you know come to mind because of the violence of the film. But I think what NASA really trying to do is to create materials that are actually helpful for the safety of astronauts. Because one of the perils that astronauts and in general missions to space encounter is the fact that they have a lot of debris, space debris floating around that hits the, the International Space Station, it hits the spaceships. So they're trying to build these materials and the advancement on, on resins that they achieved allow for them to create materials that if they hit, get impact by, by space garbage, they can actually heal themselves and maintain this ship, their investment for longer periods of time. So if you get hit with a micro, um, am I saying this correctly, micro meteor, <laughs> meteoroid, yeah. you're going to be just fine. So that, I mean, that's possible what they're doing this for. But anyway, the discovery, it could, this is what they're saying, it could lead to a greater safety for astronauts living in space whose environment swarms with potentially dead, deadly projectiles moving at speeds up to 22,000 miles per hour. So if something hits you going 22K, you're still good to go. Yeah, I mean, the, the, and I think the whole thing is for these ships not to fail at the first mm -hmm. encounter with the, the, the debris that floats around. Now, that's not the only that application that we can have, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think these now can also be applied to vehicles on Earth that, that are armored and, mm -hmm. and placed, you know, in war zones. That I might, you know, that. That, might, that might be also beneficial. Anything, these type of developments I'm really for because they cut down the number of deaths in an armed conflict or in an exploration instead of trying to find more deadly weapons. So I think that, that's an advantage. You know, when I, when I first uh, read this article, I was thinking, I mean, if you could come up with a liquid that could harden when something hits it, like a bullet, couldn't you put it on your skin, you'd be indestructible? I, you know, it might be the case. We'll see. We'll see how they develop the technology and the uh, implementation of it. I'd love to see. I hope we're around to see that. Anyway, we'd love to know what you think about this liquid. That t the, once it hits the oxygen, it turns into a solid, can protect you from an object up to 22,000 miles an hour. How cool is that? Log on, post your comments below about the story. While you're at it, be sure to check out the rest of our channel. And, of course, subscribe to the Lib TV for more.